Hey hello guys welcome back this is Viren Kumar so today in this video i am going to discuss about the uh, test with the sonar scanner this is without the memon project like how we can test a non memon project and how we can deploy that project on the sonar web server so you can see on my screen the agent i set up a normal java project without the memon project then after that we will create some source java files and the test ng classes and then we will create a sonar properties file after that we will start the sonar server and then we will run the sonar scanner command on the command prompt then we will log into the sonar web server on the default port number and then i will explain the sonar web project so in this project you will understand that how we can deploy a scanned project on the sonar web server okay so for that first i will set up a normal java project so for that you know already i have explained the how to set up a normal java project so let's suppose if you don't know then you can just go to the new java project and you can enter the name and it will create with the src okay so suppose this is a test sonar tool is the my project which i have already created under that i have the src folder under src folder i have the test script package under this i have the one uh, test okay this is the test ng test this is the one test ng test and then i have the one java source file okay so uh, basically in the scanning like how it is working okay this is the my project and this is the my test ng class okay this test ng class have some code and this is the my source file which i want to scan through this test ng and after that i want to see the report on the sonar web server so this project i have set up on my eclipse this is the non memon project after that the create source java files and test ng we have already created then create the sonar properties file now where you can create the sonar dot properties file so for that you can go to the your project location so where you can go to the project location so my project location is the c workspace and the test sonar 12 okay so i'll go to the uh, c drive and then i have the workspace and then i have the test sonar 12 project and under that i have the one sonar hyphen project dot properties file so this properties file is important why because in this properties file when we are running then we need the source file and the test file okay so we have to provide the location on the path basically this is for the local system so when you are on the local system system and there is a project which you want to scan simple java project then we need the sonar project dot properties file so the project key and the project name you can provide here and sonar dot sources you can provide the demo dot uh, java source file so there uh, what you can do uh, you can go to the test sonar src folder com folder and there is the source file okay so you can provide the path of that so i have this location to provide the source file for the source file i am going to provide okay and test sonar and this is my java file so what i will do i'll copy the java file and will paste it here so this is my java file part and then i have the test sonar src com there is my test script uh, sorry uh, i have the test script folder com dot test script folder 
and then I have the job file. So com slash test script folder slash my Java file name. Or uh, we can provide the tilde path of the folder. Okay, that I will explain in the few steps. Up to few steps. Okay, so these are the my source file location, and this is my test file location. This is my project name, and this. Is, so this setup is done. Okay, you can close, and now you can go to the project. So max. Make sure this sonar dot uh, property project dot property file should be at the project directory level. Okay, this should not be anywhere else. Okay, so we have the create the sonar dot property. Now I want to start the sonar server. Okay, so for that you have downloaded the latest version of the sonar. You can download from the sonar site, and then you can unzip the file, and then you can go to the bin. Uh, under the bin you can select your windows or your operating system type and i am using the windows so i will go to the windows and there i have the start sonar.batch i will double click simply and then it will take few seconds to start the sonar server Okay, now you can see the sonar cube is up and running. So how once you can get this message sonar is up, that means the sonar cube server is up. Now how to access the web server of the sonar cube? So you can access this sonar cube server on the port number. So the port number. So the port number is basically um, is defined in your sonar dot project project dot properties file. Okay. So basically, it's by default on the nine triple zero port number, and if you are accessing any other port number of the server, okay, any other server where you want to check the sonar, then you can provide the sonar dot dgbc URL, okay, and this is the host URL, okay. So in your organization or in for your purpose, uh, you have the uh, another. Like server name and the port number you can provide, and it will launch and remove this command. Okay, but this is the by default command, so you can just copy login to the web server. Okay, now it will load and then it will try to log in. So you can click on the login, and the default username and the password is the admin admin, and you can log in. Okay. So now you can see this is already uh, developed project. I will explain. So how to delete the project? Already, I just go to administrator project, select the project and delete it. Have any other project? So this is my Sonar Web Server. This is up and running. So now, what is my next task? My next task is run Sonar Scanner command on the command prompt. So be careful here. From where you can run the Sonar Scanner, you have to go to your project directory. Okay. This is my project directory, and there I will launch the command prompt. And from here, I will call Sonar Scanner. Okay, and then hit enter. Sonar hyphen scanner, and then it will scan this project. Okay, it will take the setting from the project dot properties file. So you can see the sonar scanner dot properties and sonar scanner configuration file is the sonar scanner. Project so what will be the my project names test sonar test sonar okay our cube server will show you the code quality okay it will not give you the coverage report you have to provide the coverage report that coverage report it can show on the server so this how it will do I will show you in this video 
at this time it will show the code quality now the build is success okay execution is success now here you can see the report processing that triple nine triple zero api this is the if you want to go directly from this location you can access or <coughs> analysis successful you can browse okay this this is the browse okay uh, id is the test sonar so now we have now you just refresh this one and now you have the test sonar okay and why this is coming the test sonar because we have provided the project key and the name here so this will pick from the sonar project or properties file okay so test sonar is coming and now you it is not showing any coverage report coverage percentage it is not showing but it is showing the code quality and code smells vulnerabilities any security thread bugs in your code is there or not this will show this one okay and coverage section will not show any coverage i will let you know why and this is the code smells okay and this is 42 minute epic now if i want to check the code okay so you can go to the code how you can will go uh, you can click why this is failed i will explain because the quality gate is failed so my quality gate is uh, <coughs> i have provided this 100 percent 50 percent less than coverage and if the line coverage is 50 percent then it will fail the coverage is this one okay so now why this is failed because there is no coverage around the minimum 50 percent so go to the project then issues you can browse there these are the issues this is basically the sonar cube do uh, basically it will provide the code quality and code security check Execute this project on your system you know, local system okay so this is basically for the local system so first i will run here okay, it will generate the coverage report Okay, you can see on the console check report on the sonar server this is called test is called test sonar okay now you can see the coverage is the 88.6 percent once you have this coverage percentage you can export so we have exported this one and this is the location test code coverage.xml I will say finish and I will go to the project uh, coverage location so I will go to the sonar tutorial and then I have the uh, sonar report and this is my test code coverage okay so what I will do I will copy this location I will go to the sonar cube and then I will go to the administrator Go to administrator and then go to the JCO code. Uh, this left side in the tab, and there you can provide this location. Okay, so now report and save it. Now this is saved. Now come out. Okay, you want to see the path. So, what I will do, I will delete these reports, uh, the quality get. Okay and now again i have to scan this project so again i will go and i will run the scanner so again this will scan the project and the percentage will come on the sonar web server So basically this is for the local application scanning okay we have the local project and the local project and that we want to show on the sonar web server so the execution is successful now just refresh this project and you can see the pass and the coverage is the 72.7 percent on the sonar cube server 
okay this is coming through the xml file okay so you can see the pass and now you can see the test so now here uh, 72.72 percent coverage report you can click on this one go to the test java source file so basically this will cover only the source file so if this is showing the partially covered okay partially covered by the test one of the two conditions so there is a two condition if a equal to equal to b then this will execute okay a is not equal to else condition it will print not equal to so this is covered it will come to the else condition and it will execute this one okay so you can see the coverage lines to cover and uncover lines you can see the two uncovered lines first is this one and second is this one these are the branching and what is the other uncovered condition test so 100% test execution how you can check you can go to the project code level src con dot test sonar test source file uh, the <coughs> You can see the source file percentage 72.7%.